What's up everyone and welcome to the 11th HTML video tutorial here at beginnertask.com. In this video I'll be showing you how to make forms in HTML. Forms are extremely useful and they can be used for a variety of different purposes. As an example you can make a login with a form, you can make a comment area, you can guest book, contact form, questionnaires and polls. There's basically an endless amount of uh, applications on the web where you need to use and make forms so it is a really important thing to learn so let's get started I'm just gonna leave this like that it is important to note that a form needs JavaScript or PHP uh, to function in reality so in this video I'll be showing you how to create the actual form in HTML if you then want uh, the form to actually be working uh, and send data then please watch our JavaScript and PHP tutorials. In this video I'll be showing you a form that uses all the different input types. So um, this might become a, a bit of a long video but uh, I will try to make it short. First of all I will need to make the form tag. It looks like this. And then I'm gonna close it like that. Then I'm gonna add an ID to the form tag because if I then want to later use it in my JavaScript and PHP, I need to have a name uh, which I can reference uh, to this form. Uh, I'm just gonna call this my form, like that. The first thing I want to do is to make an uh, input where my visitors and users can input their names. So I'm gonna type in input, and the type should then be text. I'm going to set a maximum of characters uh, which the name can be. So I'm just going to choose an attribute called max length and I'm going to set that to 10. And I'm going to close this input and uh, let's view it in the browser. Or actually before we do that I'm just going to type in here name so we know that it is the name that has to be typed in here and I'm also going to make a line break. Uh, let's view it in the browser. And as you can see, we now have an input area in the form where the user can type in his name. I could type John, like that. Let's go into the HTML document again. Now I then want to make it possible to, for my visitors to specify their gender. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a radio button. So I'm just going to type male. Again, I'm going to use input. And the type this time is radio because it's a radio button. Then I'm going to use an attribute called name and that is gender because they can choose the gender. Next I'm going to use an attribute called value and because the value of this button is male, the value is going to be male. I'm going to close it then I'm just going to copy it and make one for female as well. Like that. Let's uh, view it in the browser. As you can see, the visitor can now choose between male and female. He can only choose one of them because this is a radio button. The next button I will show you is called a checkbox. And in this one, you can cross off multiple uh, answers. So to make a checkbox, I will also have to use the input again. And the type should then be checkbox. The name should be pet because now I want the visitor to pick a pet and the value attribute should be set to dog. That's the first one that they can pick. I'm just going to close it. I'm just going to type in here dog like that. And then I'm going to make one for cat as well. And let's view this in the browser. As you can see, John the visitor can now choose between cat and dog. Or he can actually choose both because this is a checkbox uh, button. Next I want him to be able to choose uh, which color his um, pet is. Um, I would like him to be able to do this from a list menu. 
So I'm going to go back. In order to make a list menu, I'll need to use the select tag. It looks like this. Like that, and then I'm going to close it. I'm also going to give the select tag a name. And it should be colors. Inside of the select tag, I will need to specify the options which John can select. I like him to be able to choose between white and black. So I'm gonna type in options. And the value should be, the first one should be black. Like that. Actually, it's not options, it's only option. That's, that's more like it. And then I'm just gonna copy this one. And type in white. So now I have a list menu with two options, black and white. Let's view it in the browser. And as you can see, we have the list menu right here. If I press this one, I will be able to choose between black and white. Now I then want John to be able to type in a comment. In order to do so, we will need to make a text area. But first I'll just write comment. And then I'll make a line break. And afterwards I will then make a text area. To specify the size of this text area, I will need to use the calls and rows attribute. The calls attribute looks like this. I will set that to 20. And the rows attribute looks like this. I'll set it to 5. And that is rows with an S. Let's view it in the browser. And now we got a comment area. Well, John can type in a comment. The comment area is 20 columns wide. It's this one. And 5 rows high. This one. Now I want John to be able to type in a password, so I'm just going to write password. And then I'm going to make the input tag. And the type this time is going to be password. Like that. The length of this password should be a maximum of 8 characters. So I use the max length um, attribute and set that to 8. Let's view it in the browser. So, if John wants to type in a password, he can go down here and type whatever. And as you can see, it will not show the characters because it is a password. Finally, I want John to be able to submit this formula, or this form. And I also want him to be able to reset it, meaning deleting all the content. First, I'll show you how to make the submit button. So, I'm just going to type in the input tag again. The type this time is submit. And the value should be set to submit as well. Just gonna close it. And then I also want to make a reset button. So I'm gonna use the input tag again. Type this time is reset. And the value could be mm, delete all. The value is what is going to be printed on the button. Um, let's view it in the browser. And down here we now got the submit button and the delete all button. If I press the submit button, then the form will be submitted. But again, you will need PHP or JavaScript uh, for this to function. The delete all button will also be functioning if I do it like this, choose something, blah blah blah, and then I press delete all. It will erase all the content which I have uh, typed in to the form. And that was the final word for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please visit beginnertask.com where you will also find a lot of other videos. Thanks again and uh, see you soon.